Hello Clever Kids, it's me again, Kylan. Are you ready for another week where you will feel such confidence in your math skills? Today, we are going to be looking at doubling and halving bigger numbers. Looking at our tens and our ones. Are you ready? Here we have 70. Another way of saying 70 is seven tens. Now, doubling 70, whoa, we're getting past 100. I feel a bit nervous. Do you sometimes feel a bit nervous with bigger numbers? <sighs> we can do this. Now we think, what do we know? 70 is seven tens. Seven, what's double seven? I know that, it's 14. So seven tens, doubling it equals 14 tens. Let's have a look at what that number looks like. Wow, here we have 14 tens. Whoa, it's a lot of tens. We need to regroup because there is definitely 10 tens in here. Let's see what that looks like. Here it is. Now, what do we have here? We can see that we have regrouped our 10 tens. It is, well done, 100. So we need to make sure in our head we can see 100. And how many tens do we have in our tens column? That's right, four tens. Double 70 is 140. Can you say that out loud for me? <laughs> Let's look at our next problem. Here we have 65. Now, 65, we're going to work with the largest part of this whole number, six tens. What is double six tens? Here it is, 12 tens. Whoa, we have the same problem. There are more than nine tens here. There's too many for me to just look at and know how many there are. What do we need to do? That's right, regroup. We need to find 10 tens. Now we have 102 tens. 12 tens, another way of saying it, is 120. Have we finished? Uh-uh, here are our ones doubled. Hey, there are too many ones running around. We need to regroup these 10 ones. Here, we've regrouped, and here's our 10. Now, we've got 12 tens. We add our additional 10. 12 tens, add one 10, equals 13 tens. What's another way of saying that? 130. Well done. You guys can do anything you set your mind to. Remember to believe in yourself. Okay, everyone, it's now time to halve two-digit numbers. Here we have 50, five tens. Now, we can't just halve 50 easily in our mind, so we go to what we know. Let's move this 10 to the side here four tens. What is half of four tens? Two tens, 20. Now, we can't forget about the 10 we moved to the side. Now, I don't have any scissors. I'm not just gonna cut it in half to halve it. We need to regroup. Here we have it. One ten is the same as 10 ones. Now, what is half of 10? Here it is. You are right. Our answer is two tens, five ones. That is, that's right, 25. Half of 50 equals 25. Now we have 140. Uh-oh, we need to regroup. We have regrouped. Now we can easily see the 14 tens in the number 140. We are halving. So half of 14 equals Seven, so half of 14 tens 
equals seven tens. And we write seven tens, 70.